Okay, so now that we're familiar with the dashboard, we are now going to go ahead and create our very first entry or post. And to do so, we can get to the post section in two different ways. Under the at a glance section, as we can see, it mentions we already have one post and that's a live link through to that section. Alternatively, the top option on the navigation bar at the side is also posts and if we click that heading that will take us through to the edit posts suite. So as you can see here we now have the heading edit posts so we know we're in the right place and it currently lists all the posts that we have on our blog and as we mentioned previously there's the hello world post which was the default post put on by WordPress. Now if we wanted to we could delete that post just by ticking the box and clicking on the word delete underneath that entry but we won't worry about doing that for now. Instead what we want to do is actually add a new entry. So if we go back up to the top and next to the heading edit posts there's a button that says add new. So we're going to click add new and that's going to take us through to the sort of processing engine for actually creating a new entry. So this top and empty box is for our title or heading and so I'm going to give our new entry a nice title and I'm simply going to call it my first post. Now underneath here you'll see what looks quite familiar as a sort of word processing system um, if you're familiar with Microsoft Word or anything like that then you'll be familiar uh, with the kind of look and feel of this um, and it simply allows us to put our cursor inside this box and actually start typing our entry right away. So I'm just going to type in an entry and I'm going to say this is my first WordPress post look how easy it is. Now if I highlight that and click on the B, I can make it bold just as you would on any word processing engine. And you'll also notice here that we are currently on the visual tab. Now we can switch between visual and HTML and the HTML option really is for any budding web designers out there, people who are familiar with HTML code and are happy to actually um, stylize their text entries using um, HTML tags so that's really for more advanced users. Back on the visual tab really this is more than sufficient for um, any new user or um, certainly most users or bloggers uh, would be quite happy using just the visual element. So that's our first entry it even tells us uh, the word count and when it was created and over to the right here we have a publish window and it gives us a number of options. We can save our entry as a draft, perhaps we've not quite finished it, want to go and have a coffee, come back and complete it at a later date. We can save it and come back. Um, we can preview it, so we could actually preview it on our blog if we're not quite ready to publish it as live. Or we can publish it immediately with the blue button at the bottom. So we're pretty confident or very confident that we've done it correctly. So in this instance, we're going to just simply publish it immediately by clicking on the blue button. Well, that'll just take a few seconds to publish and that screen will refresh. All right, there we are, that's refreshed. So the entry has now updated and we can see that a new status window has appeared here, this yellow section at the top and that says post published and there's a live link to go and view our post. So we're going to do that now and that will take us through to our blog and there we are we have our WordPress tutorial and it now lists a new entry that we've made. My first post is the title and there's the body text that we put in. So there we are, it really is that simple and there we have our very first post.